For all the latest on the Saw Guy podcast, be sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell icon. Welcome to the Saw Guy Podcast. As always, y'all know, I am Juicy. <laughs> now that it's the spooky season, we can have some real fun. Last year, my favorite drink of all time, Mountain Dew. They came out with this flavor called Voodoo Mountain Dew. And I tried that out for you guys, see what I give you my points on that, and it really did taste like Skittles. <laughs> well, this year, in 2020, Mountain Dew came back and they actually did a Voodoo number two. They call it Voodoo 2. And as I said, every time I hear Voodoo, I always think of Hatchet. Voodoo Magic. Magic. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, this is a mystery flavor for 2020. And I didn't think Mountain Dew was going to do it because I heard uh, various, you know, good and bad things on it. And, you know, but of course, with it being Halloween, everybody loving all the Halloween flavors. Pumpkin Spice! Everyone's all rioting for Pumpkin Spice lattes right now, probably. Um, but I also, you know, dug through and found at my local grocery store some other good treats. I also found none other than Kit Kat Witch's Brew. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. These are the ones that everybody was talking about, how it's uh, green flavor Kit Kats. And I last year they released these, but I didn't get a chance to try them because I couldn't find them. But they have Zombie Skittles. Yes. These are the Zombie Skittles where... Um, one of them is going to taste like a zombie, apparently. <laughs> and of course, I couldn't resist, but they had friggin' pumpkin pie right there. Pumpkin pie Kit Kats. And I said, shit, pumpkin pie is my favorite. So I'm going to give this a shot, too. And not only that, I also found Reese's got into the fun with this. They decided to do Reese's peanut butter cups with green on the bottom. And um, I don't know if it's a different flavor. It says green colored cream, but we're gonna try all this out because it's Halloween and spooky season. <laughs> so, out of all these flavors, I know first thing I wanna try is the Mountain Dew Voodoo 2. So, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open because it's all nice and chilled and uh, it's been staring at me and I've been quite thirsty, so. Woo! You know I had it ice cold because you hear that pop from the freezer. <laughs> All right, well. Ooh, this one really smells like Skittles, but let's try this flavor out. It says, it says you're a dead fuck. Oh man, it, it's, it's not even a question. This right here, I can tell you right now, they used a lot of different flavors to make this oddball flavor. But when you taste this flavor, it honestly tastes like you get a bunch of Skittles and you put it in your mouth and you let it sit and then you start chewing on them. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Um, very similar to last year, but last year had more of a aftertaste of like orange cream or orange sorbet. Uh, this year, there's not that aftertaste to it. You know, and uh, this isn't that bad, you know, and I made sure this time I, I have everything bolted down so I don't knock the freaking camera over like last year. <laughs> but that was really good. You know, I, I'm really impressed. I think next I want to try is probably the zombie Skittles. And these are the only size I could find is the king size. They didn't have saw guy size, but they had king size. Or wait, no. What do they call it now? Share size. So I'm gonna share with myself and as Saw Guy and as Juice Demon. So that that counts. <laughs> Let's crack this open. And apparently, on the back it tells you all the different flavors. So you have the green, the red, the blue, the purple. Um, I'm kind of anxious to try this. Let's see. So I got a handful of purple and a handful of red. Let's try and see. Let's get some in there. Oh, fuck. Oh. 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 Tastes like burnt ass plastic. Oh. What the hell? So, I was thinking maybe there's a gray one in here that tells you that it's a zombie, but you don't know. And it's like, oh shit. Um, it's like Walking Dead. <laughs> You don't know that someone's gotten bit because they got bit and they're hiding that shit. <laughs> That's basically what this is. Um, 
Wow, and it was in a blue flavor. Let me try this one. No, that's strawberry. There's purple and blue right there. Come on. There we go. Kind of hard to eat through a mask. <laughs> Not bad. I didn't hit a zombie flavor in any of those, but these are not bad. Um, if you're brave enough to try this, zombie Skittles right there, bam. These are really good. But when you get that zombie flavor, oh, it, it really does taste like a rotten zombie, like it says. <laughs> um, like, I don't know, it's hard to describe that rotten taste. It, it's kind of like those Harry Potter jelly bellies where they have the bar flavor or like the fish guts. And I remember having those back in the day. Oh God, never get the dog food. I about threw up on that one. <laughs> um, so with the zombie Skittles out of the way, I think now I'm hungry for some pumpkin pie. And uh, I'm gonna try pumpkin pie Kit Kat because I bought the big fun bag size. These are the ones I'm giving for my trick-or-treaters. So if you're trick-or-treating here in my town, you'll be getting some of this good stuff. Let me crack this open. And let's see what's special about this. Oh, it's orange flavor. Look at that. It's all orange. So, let's try this one out. Go ahead. Make my millennium. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I can taste the pumpkin. You obviously taste the crispy wafers and everything like in a normal Kit Kat, but it's got that uh, pumpkin spice aftertaste, which is really good. And it doesn't dry out your mouth. <laughs> um, damn, I, you know, I'm, I might get another one, but I still got the Witch's Brew to try it. But that is the Kit Kat pumpkin pie. And if you like pumpkin pie or anything pumpkin, really, this is your go-to candy right here. I'm actually really impressed. I'm like, oh, damn, I should have bought more of those. <laughs> Um, now let's get into the new style right here, the Witch's Brew. This is the new one for 2020. Let's try this out. Gotta make sure that I save some of these for my trick-or-treaters, because, yeah, that pumpkin pie one was really good. Um, Witch's Brew is what they call it. And it's pretty cool, because they put like a retro kind of witch on there. Kind of fun, you know. Uh, and these are your normal fun size, where it's two-piece, you break them off. And let's see if there's anything special. Well, this is kind of like a lime green. Well, not lime green. What is it? Like an off green white. Kind of like a glow in the dark flavor. Um, I'm going to be that guy and break off a piece. And let's try this out. Oh. 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 I'll finish it for you guys. Oh, okay. One piece. I knew it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that I didn't like. Oh, hell no. What, what's in the flavor here? Oh, that's why it says right here on the packaging that it's marshmallow flavored. So if you like marshmallow flavored candy, such as the Peeps and things like that, um, what other candies do they have though? What you call it to have like marshmallows and stuff in it? That's your go-to candy. Oh, this one actually dried out of my mouth. Oh, oh. Um, I like the idea of what they did. I like the color scheme that they did. How it's green, but I mean, maybe I'm too old, <laughs> and, and I just I don't like marshmallows. I guess you know. Um, but yeah, that. Oh, that's a nasty flavor. All right, down to the last one. We're gonna try. The Reese's, and uh, it's called the Franken Cup. That's what it is, the Franken Cup. So let's crack this open. Out of all these candies, I personally like Kit Kat the most, but, um, you know, far be it from me. I, I always try all these candies. And of course, nothing fancy with these. They just tell you the Franken Cup. Typical old Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, yeah, but it is green on the bottom. I'm hoping it's not that 
marshmallow flavor from the Kit Kat, but it is green on the bottom like they show. Like that. Um, yeah, and it still does that same crap where it pulls the bottom out. All right, so let's try this one out. All right, so let's try this one out. No difference in taste. None. Absolutely no difference in taste. None. This is the same type of Reese's peanut butter cup that we all know and love and enjoy. And the same one that dries your mouth out. <laughs> ah. Ah. I got a dry mouth. Hold on. Let's crack open another swig of this voodoo Mountain Dew. Try this out. Wash it down. Woo! Man, it's like drinking, you know, Skittles, Kit Kats, more Skittles, a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> um, all this is really good. The only thing I didn't like was the Witch's Brew Kit Kats and the Reese's peanut butter cup. I'm like, oh man, I spent a dollar more on this one. <laughs> and it's the same damn thing. It's just that it's green on the bottom. That's the only thing. And it's still stuck to the bottom. I thought it was gonna be like the commercials. You take it out, you see a nice green bottom. It's all flat, there's no pulled edges, but nah, it's still the same old, same old. <laughs> but hope you're all enjoying your spooky Halloween season and enjoying all these candies here. And like I said, yeah, you know, try some of these out. I mean, my favorite so far has been the Skittles and the Kit Kat pumpkin pie. And uh, because of this, I think I'm gonna go have some pumpkin pie right now. <laughs> <laughs> but thank y'all for tuning in, and I will catch y'all next time, as always. Bow down to the, bow down to the cave.